So 99 overall Super Bowl MVP Cooper Cup is out. There is a slight way to make coins with it, but it's super risky. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all, but you guys gotta do it at your own risk, right? So the first thing you wanna see is you wanna see what Cooper Cup is going for. Now his price is basically gonna depend on the entire method. Now it looks like he's creeping down faster and faster and faster, so be very careful. Check his price first, right? So let's say we sell him at 700K. We'll get back about 630K. Now you need 297s, right? To build the Cooper Cup, and I'm pretty sure you don't get any, you don't get anything back. So you're just gonna put the 297s in and you're gonna build his cart, right? So the cheapest one right now is gonna be Aaron Donald at 349. So if you took 349 times two, you'll get 698. If you just did this, you would actually lose coins because the cheapest one selling for 700, you'll get back seven, uh, 630. The next best way to do it is go ahead and buy the 95s. So if you buy the 95s and you try and find them at 115, you build each one of these sets. So let's say you build Aaron Donald, let's say you build Joe Mixon, Ronnie Lott, whichever one, right? So you need three. So 115 times three equals 345. So let's say you go ahead and you build Aaron Donald, it costs you 345. Sales power up, maybe 2K or whatever it is, right? But then you get those NAT cards back. So you're going to do that twice. And after you quick sell all the 95s that you get back, it's like 19,200 training. Now you multiply that by two, you'll have 38,000 training, right? But then let's go back because that's how much you'll finish with the end. You take 345, you multiply that by two. It's going to cost you 690 to build Cooper Cup. Now you go back to Cooper Cup and you sell him on an auction block. For, for the example that we talked about, we sell him at 700K. After taxes, you'll get back 630. So you subtract 630. It's going to cost you 60K to get 40K training. So what you could do is you could take that training and you could roll it into the 86 plus, right? If you roll it into the 86 plus, you have a multiple chances at getting the 95. If you just want to go ahead and roll it into a past player or roll it into a present player, you can, you'll be able to get a for sure 95 that could sell for 120K. After taxes, you get back 108. You make about like what, 48K just from doing that. But you're risking 700K with Cooper Cup. Now, and, and obviously you got to have the coins for this. But the only thing that's scary is there's so many of these cards posted already. And it doesn't seem like he's selling that fast. So you run a huge risk of investing 700,000 coins to only make about 50, 60K. So it, it, it doesn't really make too much sense. But if you guys are just itching for something to do with the Super Bowl MVP card, that's one of the ways you can make money. We got NFL honors, right? So NFL honors, we got a lot of fun cards. It's going to be, I think EA says it's going to be three drops, right? So we could expect three different drops. All of the players didn't get dropped at one time, but we do got a couple of bangers, man. We got this Justin Tucker right here. Baked in abilities. Baked in abilities is cool for kickers because you don't want to power up kickers. It's just a waste of training anyway. He got 98 kick power, 97 awareness, 93 kick kick accuracy. And it looked like he got focus kicker, focus kicker or clutch kicker. And I don't know what that first one is. So I don't know about kicker abilities like that. But we got another LTD Micah Parsons. It's kind of weak that Micah Parsons has two LTDs in the game. Like it's, it's kind of hard to actually power up this card and get this card. I was hoping that they gave him a better card because this is really only a plus one, right? So if you happen to not get this Michael Parsons card, you're really only one overall all across the board down from his best card in the game. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you're going to be spending at least two to three million on this card because his LTD is going to be like, unless we wait to a 95, 96 power up pass, that's the only time I can see this making sense. You could spend the one mil on this card, two mil on this card, and then use a power up pass for the last card. This is a crazy card, man. Absolutely nuts, man. You power this card up, man. He has 99 speed, bro. <laughs> like as a linebacker, he has 99 speed, 99 power move. This is, I mean, 99 finesse move. This is an in game card. His COD is 91, which is crazy. For a linebacker, he could if he gets a lurker, which he might get a lurker, he could be a user, bro. Easily at 6'3, this is a dog card. He's hitting for 1.49 mil. We also got Jamar Chase at 1.39 mil, bro. 1.39 mil. 99 speed on any theme team. If you power him up, easily 99 speed on any team, right? With all you need is a strategy item, but deep route running fire, mid. Boom. Everything's good about this card. There's nothing you can complain about this card. 
He's six foot. He's going to be absolutely nuts. But 1.43 mil is crazy, man. Let's see if we can get, get a little glitchy in this video, man. We're going to pull a couple packs and see what happened, man. I just wanted to get y'all a nice little video, you feel me, about the, the Super Bowl MVP. See, hey, and be careful. Don't waste all of your coins because we do have another promo coming up. So don't waste all of your coins on trying to pull these, these LTDs in a the game. There's a Gridiron Guardian Part 2 coming soon. And then we got something else, Ultimate Legends, coming soon. So don't waste every single coin you got on this if you guys are really, really, really trying to get these cards because you will have an opportunity when a new promo has come out. I'm not going to say they're LTD, so if you can't get your hands on them with some packs, cool. Pro Fantasy is looking like they they, they, they kind of beefing up a little bit. I don't think the market's going to crash too much considering that all of these cards are LTD. So I just don't see the market crashing, but you never know. You never know. People might just be trying to dump all of their cards for that Michael Parsons or Jamar Chase. So it could cause the market, market to crash, but we'll see. I, I strongly believe that we, we should be cool all the way up until like Ultimate Legends or Gridiron Guardians, whichever one drops first. I did see that Ultimate Legends has like at least 10 cards coming. Potentially could be Randy Moss. We could get that Randy Moss card. So I kind of want to go through there, look and make some predictions, man, make some guesses, but we'll see. I don't know if, you know, I want to waste time doing that. It might not be a waste of time, but it could be fun. We'll see if there's going to be some good cards coming. It's always, Ultimate Legend is always one of the better promos. I feel like they do a good job of providing us with fun cards for Ultimate Legends. Pop us out of 90 right here, 79. But 86 overall, Aaron Rodgers right there. We missed the animation. So that's a nice little banger right there. We'll take it. Aaron Rodgers MVP card's going to be nuts. Going to be nuts. This card's probably going to be expensive. We should probably see him. He's probably going to be like the last card in a drop. So he's only like 14K. He ain't came out. Once he comes out, that card's going to be crazy, bro. There's so many good cards coming. I'm just... I think what EA is going to do, they're going to drop a lot of positions. Like, we're probably going to see a left outside linebacker, you feel me, for um, Ultimate Legends. So, it could, could, like, decrease the price of Michael Parsons. We're probably going to see receivers. So, that could decrease the price of Jamar Chase. Kickers, they probably don't really care that much because kickers not really, like, if you could get your hands on that Justin Tucker, he's not going to really change the game unless he can kick, like, a 70-yard field goal. If he can kick 70-yard field goals, then it makes sense, you feel me? Like, EA probably going to drop something like that, too. But other than that... I think we got a good promo ahead of us, you feel me? We got some we got some bangers coming. It should be good for the game as far as the content. The market will crash eventually. It will come down. It will bottom out just because there's about to be so much content coming. So just be careful, man. Don't get overly invested in too many cards. Don't get overly invested into one promo. I mean, if you're doing coin making methods or sets or anything, just do them in increments, bro, because you never know. As soon as EA announce something new, it's going to change the market because people are going to be extremely choosy about what they spend their coins on right now, especially when coins are kind of hard to come by, right? And we also have a new season coming, so make sure I get to level 50. I'm telling y'all this because it's hard for me to get to level 50. Y'all probably already at level 50, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already there. But go ahead and get to level 50 so you can be ready for that new season, get all the rewards, get all your power-up passes, all that kind of stuff. New season should be lit. I think they said the new season is coming on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to get the new season Thursday, which means new reduxes. So that's going to be good. We'll probably get reduxes for all of the LTD. So that Michael Parson should get a redux because that was the last promo. Like the Ghost of Madden was like the zero chill, all that kind of stuff. So we should get all zero chill LTDs going to get reduxes, which means I wonder if they're going to give like Derrick Henry all out of position players uh, reduxes like Isaiah Simmons, Derrick Henry's, Marlon Humphreys, all those cards. They should get reduxes also. But be on the lookout for that, man, because Thursday is going to be a huge market crash. And then Friday is going to come around. And they'll probably drop Grid on Guardians on Friday. I don't see them dropping Grid on Guardians 2 on the same day as they're dropping a new season. It just wouldn't really make sense. But, you know, some things they do don't really make sense. So who knows? We'll see. But then after that, we'll get Ultimate Legends. So that's why I say the market is going to take a huge hit, huge hit. So just be careful, man. Be Smart with your moves, man. That's all I got to say, man. Don't do too much, but don't do nothing. You feel me? <laughs> do something. Try to make coins. But yeah, I'm going to see you on the next video. Make sure you follow me on Twitch if you haven't.